We've got our 10th game of the season today and we've been almost perfect in the league. Can we get our ninth win of the season as we take on Darlington in today's episode of Walks to the Prem? Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 31 of my Kingsland save, Walks to Prem, here on Football Manager 2020. And guys, just before we get started, if you could pop a like down below if you're enjoying the series, that would be very, very beautiful of you. And so... Into today's video, we have had an almost perfect start to the season, like I said in the intro. It has been so much fun. We have been demolishing teams. We have had some classic back and forth games. And so, let's go and see exactly how we've been getting on before we do crack on with today's game versus Darlington. And you will see... That the first game of the season, you saw it in the last episode, we beat Scarborough 4-1 after being 1-0 down at half-time. So that was a very nice performance in the end. Romain Mundell with two, Adam Marriott with another two as well. And then following on from that, we played Blythe Spartans and Macaulay Robinson got his first goal for the club. And it was quite a nice goal. Let's go and load it up. Mbala with the free kick. He whipped it in. He got headed away. Marriott played it back to Mbala, who plays it across the box. And Robinson just firing the volley into the bottom corner. Very nice goal there. I was very happy with that. And then we had quite a mad game here against Southport. We was actually 4-1 up at half-time. Adam Marriott had got himself an 8-minute hat-trick with scoring in the 21st minute, the 26th and the 29th. But then Harry Pitcher got one back for him. And then we did score just before half-time to, like I say, make it 4-1. But then they got another couple in the second half. Pitcher with his second of the day. And then George Fawn got it back to 4-3. Just to make it a little bit nervy and just to put a few doubts in our head that they might bring it back. But thankfully, they didn't. And then we went one, two, three, four games without conceding a goal. First up was Tamworth to fall victim to us. It was, it was DiMaggio Wright Phillips with his first goal for the club. And then Adam Marriott got another couple. Marriott is still on fire. Marriott is still unplayable in this league. And then Romain Mundell finished it up to make it, like I say, 4 0. And then Curzon Aston, it was David Mbala and Romain Mundell with the goals. Mbala already this season has done better than he did in the whole of last season. So I'm very happy that we did decide to keep him on. And he, he's now doing a lot, lot better. I'll show you his stats when we finish looking at these results. And then after that... We had a 1-0 win against Altrinham. Romain Mundell in the third minute. And then after that, after that, Altrinham had a few attempts at us. And they did look the most likely to score. But thankfully, we was able to just survive and eke out that win. And then Gateshead, 1-0 win. Another early goal and another performance where we was trying to hold on. But we did manage to hold on and... That was another very nice win. But I wasn't happy with the performance. So I told the lads that I wasn't. I said we had to be better against better teams. And that completely ruined everything. Everything went red in the team talk. It was everyone was angry. Everyone was upset. And so I think this next game against Aston, what was it, three days later... They were still upset. They were still pissed off at us. And so and so they had a little bit of a strop. They had a little bit of a sulk. And I don't think they tried as hard as what they could. And so we did end up losing our first game of the season against Kurz... Not Kurz, Aston, just Aston United. 
and we, we lost it with two goals, one from Corey Brennan, the other from Jason McAtee, either side of an Adam Marriott goal. Adam Marriott was the one player to at least attempt something in that game. And that was a really disappointing result because I think Aston are down the bottom. Yes, they are. 23rd in the league. It was a game where I think if the team talk in the previous game had been better, if they'd reacted a little bit better to it, it would have been, what, nine wins out of nine we would have been having at this point. But thankfully, after that, the players did regain their confidence, regain whatever they lost in that last one. And David and Bala got two goals to win us the game against Geisley, who did get one back in the very last minute. And as you can see here, attendances at our home ground have not been great. 591 fans, 580, 564, that's away, sorry. And home again, 614, 703, that was a little bit better. And then 648 for the last one. Certainly nothing like the attendances Kingsley are getting in real life. I want to say congratulations to the club for getting over 4,000 people to go and watch them in real life over the weekend as they did beat York City 1-0. It was a very good, very good performance from everything that I've heard. So, yeah, well done, Kingsley. I would love to be able to get back there for a game at some point this season, but not looking like it's going to be possible. Maybe, maybe I can save up and next year I can try and get and see them. That would be very nice. And so, back to FF Matters. Let's get into today's game versus Darlington. And this is going to be the way we are going to be lining up. We've got Herbin in goal, Smith at left back, Hopkins and Robinson in the middle of the defence. Neither of them two have been brilliant, but they've not had to be so far this season. So they keep their places. And Rob Crampton is in at right back. He, again, hasn't had too much to do. He's been solid without being spectacular. But then in the middle, it is David Mbala on the left-hand side. He's got a 7.6 rating for his last five games. The man is on fire once more. And then in the middle, we have got McCarthy, who's on a 7.2 for his last five games, alongside Xavier Simmons. And it is, of course, DiMaggio Wright-Phillips on the right-hand side. And up front, it is that ever-present twosome, Romain Mundell and Adam Marriott. The bookmakers have us as the favourites at 4-5, to five, despite Darlington being in better form over the last five games. They have won four and drawn one. We have won four and lost one of our last five. And Darlington are fourth in the table, could go a point behind us with a win. We could go back on top of the table if we win this game. So hopefully that is exactly what we can do. Okay, we're in the dressing room. Let's go auto. And of course, as ever, no opposition instructions have been set. And I'm going to go with favourites for a reason. And a few of them have reacted well to that. Can we get any other kind of reaction? There we go. We're going to leave it at that. About half the team is motivated. And now prediction time. 2-0 us. 2-0 to the Kingsland boys is what I'm going to say. Finally, half an hour into the game. And we've got a highlight. Right, Phillips with the header off the Embala free kick. And Darlington are just about trying to scramble the ball away. Robinson's cross is blocked and goes out. Hmm. Okay. Just a one highlight in that first half. Darlington have had four shots, two are nine. Four on target, we've had two there, one. Possession has been right down the middle. No clear-cut chances for either side. And I'm hoping this is going to be a little bit better in the second half. I'm going to go aggressive, or do I go assertive? Assertive. I'm far from pleased with what I just saw from this team. And everybody's fired up. Everybody's motivated. And I'm tempted to try and go attacking. Just to force a few highlights. 
Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's risk it for a jammy biscuit. Okay, come on, Linux. We need a better second half than this. Two minutes into the second half, we've got a highlight. Simmons is giving the ball away to Bill, and he is absolutely thundering away. He's played it across the pitch, goes to Orr, and he's going to get into the box. He's going to take the shot. Oh, no, he's not. And Robinson with the shot, and he's put it in at the second attempt. That was poor. That was not good enough. We just gave the ball away, and as soon as we did, Day was away. Bill showing an absolute thunderbolt of speed, and all squares it there. And our keeper did make the save, but he could not react. And unfortunately, we have now gone behind. Wow, 25 minutes left to go. We have not done anything today. Not sure what's gone wrong. Uh, who do I bring on? Who do I bring on to try and change this? Do I take Mundo off? Do I take a massive gamble and take Mundo off? Or do I bring Diaz Wright on for Simmons? Or even for McCarthy? Everybody's having an awful game. Our highest rating is what? 6.8? Jesus, okay. Uh, let's get Diaz Wright on for McCarthy. Let's get the old partnership of Wright and Simmons back on the pitch. And I think... I think leave it at that for the minute. Maybe give it another 10 minutes and then see about maybe throwing Alan B. John up top alongside Marriott. Still nothing happening. So, Mbala's looking quite tired. So, what I'm thinking is keep Mundo on, but chuck him out wide. And then put, M and then put Mbala up there. And then throw Alan B. John alongside Marriott. And go for longer passing, because I don't think the sort of passing is working right now. And go suit on sight. And go for a higher defensive line, maybe. And a higher line of engagement. And just see what that does. This has been a very, very poor performance so far. Hopefully, we can improve and get a draw out of this game. Oh, well, that was a very short game, wasn't it, people? We had absolutely no highlights in our favour, despite the match stats saying we played better. 14 shots to their 9, 6 on target to their 4, but they did have the only clear-cut chances. So I'm guessing you can say they played a little bit better. And possession was quite down the middle, 53 to 47%. Oh, and you know what, guys? That is going to be way too short an episode. So we are going to come back... For the next game, which is against uh, 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 schedule, 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 which is against Gloucester. So we're going to come back for that. But before we do do that, I'm going to have another moan at the players in the team talk because that was not good enough. And yep, I'm going to go. I'm not happy with your defensive. Wow, this is going wrong again. And Marriott as well. I'm going to try and have a little bit of a moan at him. He's fired up. Oh, no, it was that Allenby John that's fired up. That's Allenby John. So, okay. So, we're going to come back for the next game. And I shall see you in just a second. Sayonara. All right, guys. We're back for the second game in today's episode. And there's quite a few changes in the team. As three of the back four have been replaced. So, let's go through the team. We've got Herbin in goal. Smith keeps his place at left back. But then we've got Andrew unpronounceable with his place in the centre back position alongside Andrew Young. And Jordan Richards has come back in at right back. And then in midfield, we've got Mbala, McCarthy and Simmons all keeping their places. But Dylan Crow has come in to replace a slightly tired Wright Phillips. And then up top, it is still that ever-present twosome, Romain Mundell and Adam Marriott. The bookmakers have us as heavy, heavy favourites for this game. So hopefully that will prove to be right. As we are 1-3 to three on to win the game. We are second in the league. They are 11th. We have won three of our last five. 
they have lost 4-1-1 of their last five. So hopefully this should be a nice, comfortable victory. Okay, we're once again in the dressing room. Let's go passionate. Let's give the fans a performance they're expecting. No reaction. There never is when you say that. Thinking back now. So maybe that might be the last time I use that. And quite a few of the lads are motivated there. So prediction time. I got it really wrong last time. 1-0 win to us. A dodgy, nervy 1-0 win is what I'm thinking here. Six minutes into the game, Gloucester have got a throw in. Savage with it, he crosses it into the box. Clarkson with the header, it's hit the bar and Richards needs to clear this ball. And he's played it short and what are we doing? We look very, very nervy here. Broadbent with the ball, goes to Roberts, Burke is in and Herbin thankfully with the save there. 15 minutes in, Smith with the throw in, goes to McCarthy, Smith down the left hand side, can he cross this ball in, he doesn't, he gets us a penalty surely, and yes he has, and here we go, Adam Marriott, surely he's not going to miss this, he's put the ball down, he walks back, runs up, and oh he's just about scored it, he squirmed it under the keeper's body, and that is Adam Marriott's 10th of the season. And all that was lucky. If the keeper had dived a bit quicker, he might have saved that. But thankfully he didn't. Half an hour in. Richards with a throw in. Mundell with the ball goes back to Richards. He crosses it in. Harriet heads it away. And Roberts in an ocean of space there. He's got enough time to play it out wide to Clarkson. And Clarkson with the ball goes out wide. And goes to absolutely nobody. And can Young get to this first? Yes, he can. As the game just freezes for a second there. And then McCarthy to Mbala. And Mbala with the ball. He needs to do something here with it. Can he beat his man? Oh, no, he doesn't. But it goes to Smith off the deflection. To McCarthy in space. He goes out wide to Simmons. McCarthy. Simmons. Crow is out wide. And can he get into the box? Yes, he does. Can he cross it? No, he doesn't. He goes for the shot and it's saved easily by Allen. And there we go. That's half time. Only the couple of highlights there. We have had 10 shots to their three, seven on target to their one, one clear, kick, one clear cut chance apiece, and 62% of the possession. And we are leading 1 0. So it's been a very good performance. We just need another couple of goals just to absolutely wrap this game up. And so I'm going to say I'm not happy. See if that gets any reaction. And yes, thankfully that works on most of them. So let's go into the second half. And let's hopefully get at least once more. Come on you Linets. No highlights as of yet in this second half. And so I'm going to take Mundo off. He's not had a very good game today. So we're going to play Bernardo Rosa in the position he likes the most. We're going to put him as an advanced playmaker. And any other changes I think we should make? Maybe take Simmons off? I think that's what I'm going to do. Diaz right, come on for Simmons. And leave everything as it is. And hopefully we at least get a highlight in the second half. Well, 20 minutes left. Mbala with a free kick. And oh, I thought that was in the back of the net. But it wasn't. And still, immediately following that, I think it's us with a free kick. Yes, it is. And Barla squares it to Rosa with the long shot. And wow, that is how you make a start. Bernardo Rosa showing that he maybe should be played in the AM role rather than on the left. As he made that long shot look very, very easy. What a nice goal from our little Brazilian. And that is a very nice, very comfortable, professional win there. We won the game two goals to nil. We've had 18 shots to their 10. Nine on target to their five. Still the one clear-cut chance apiece. But we did dominate possession with 56% of the ball. A goal from Marriott, a goal from Rosa. And I am very, very happy so let's go and say passionately, I'm very pleased with the result. 
and go in the team talk and then we'll check out the league table see how we're getting on and then decide when we're going to come back for the next episode we are joint top of the league both on 27 points us and fc united we have won more games than them but we've lost two they are still unbeaten they've won eight drawn three and our goal difference is exactly the same as well so it could be a very interesting very close title race this season and so when are we going to come back we're going to come back at some point in october oh oh i quite like the look of that double header i think that's what we're going to do for the next game new local derby versus lower stoft and top of the table game versus fc united that should be a cracking episode so yep guys that's where we are going to leave it for today if you've enjoyed that video please pop a massive thumbs up down below subscribe to the channel for more on this series and on my india series which i'm gonna pop up the thumbnail for in somewhere on the screen and so yep subscribe for all that good stuff follow me on twitter at bad jokes gaming and as well as that follow the passion for fm twitter page and check out the discord the website, the Facebook, all that good stuff that we've all got going on at Passion for FM. And check out the other Passion for FM content creators as well. And yep, all the information down below on all of them. That is going to be all from me today. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Sayonara.